If you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. All right, so I am starting with a week old twist out. It's not that bad, but hey, you got to start somewhere. I'm going to start by sectioning my hair off into two smaller sections. I've already pulled the rest of my hair to the back so that it stays out the way. So we're going to focus on these two sections only. I'm going to start with my Thirsty Curls lead in the stimulator, revitalizer, all of those things. You go ahead, you spray that on top. It'll kickstart bringing back your curls. I'm going to make sure that it's evenly distributed before applying the next product, which is Super Curl. And you guys know I love, love, love this cream. I'm going to apply it from my ends up to my roots and make sure again it is evenly distributed to each strand. I'll even brush it through because I will be wearing this style for a couple of days. So I want to make sure that each strand is completely moisturized. Once that is complete, I am going to start by sectioning my hair off again. It will be in three sections. You guys know I'm not huge on parts, so I just use my finger. And then I will apply gel or if you want to use edge control, either or, um, to just keep those edges down. I'm going to brush it so that it stays down when I begin the next step. I am going to take my rubber band and just rubber band that first section off. I will do this for each section that I will create. So fun fact, I took these rubber bands and soaked them overnight in oil just to make sure that they do not create any unnecessary breakage. After you complete the rubber band sections, you'll take your very first section and wrap it around the second one like so. You will then take another rubber band and rubber band that down so that it stays in place. You will then take the last section, which is the third section that you made the little block for and twist it. I added a little bit more super curl just to make sure that it's moisturized and I just want it moisturized. I'm going to twist it down and then I am going to wrap it like a band to knot. All right. All the way down, making sure that it is steady because what you're going to do next is the exact same thing for those two sections in the front. You're going to take those twist them down like so and then wrap that around the bantu knot that you've already created making a larger bantu knot And that's it for the style. You'll just do the exact same thing on the opposite side like this. And there you go. So I know it looks done, but we're gonna add a little bit more jazz to it. So take your decorations. If you wanna add some wires, some strings, all of those different things, jazz it up to how you like it. Of course, it's a holiday look. I'm gonna add gold because I like gold. Um, I tried it with silver and that wasn't my thing. So just add as many as you want. You can even add it to the twist around in the back if you like. And that's it. That's the holiday look using Uncle Funky's daughter. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and use my code ARAVEN for 15% off of Uncle Funky Daughter's product. Thanks for watching, guys.